cemetery, what are you thinking about? Like when you're training, what are you looking at? And what are you, what are you focusing on? Like, oh, I need to, were you like measuring your neck and your arms and your calves and making sure they're the same size? Like what is proportion and symmetry exactly? Like, you know, and how well, proportion and symmetry may sound similar, they're a little bit different. I got it explained to me years ago um, by Frank Zane, which is, you know, he's known for truly a classic physique, won many Olympia titles. Um, and he was in, in that era, you know, the Arnold era. So he was saying there's symmetry, which if you turn a picture upside down and everything looks proportionate, that's how you tell someone's symmetry. Where the waist ratio, length of it, where the waist is and the upper body and the lower body has to have a certain ratio to it. And when you turn that picture upside down, you can really expose that and see it. It's very interesting. You should try it. Um, you think someone looks pretty, you know, balanced and you turn a picture over and you see, oh, wow, I didn't notice it. There was something a little bit off. And the legs might be shorter than the torso. The waist might be longer, you know? Oh. And, uh, so things like that. Or the legs might be a little bit too long and, and the torso is shorter. Or the legs are shorter and the torso is longer. Mm. And so that's a really good factor, you know, to, to kind of gauge to, to, to look at. And it does work. It's really cool. So is that just a genetic thing? That right there, what you're it's talking all, about? Yeah, totally. It's so all you have to have the God gave you the genetics for this. That helps. Definitely. We all know that, you know. And that's with, the, that's with all sports. But it doesn't mean that you're going to dominate because the person that works hard and is consistent and studies it can beat, a lot of times, the guy that's genetically gifted. There's, there's fighters that are genetically gifted great fighters, but they might not train as hard. They might not have as much heart. They might not want it as much. You know, they might not be willing to go till death and they'll lose to someone that's not as talented. You see it all the time in all sports. And uh, so, but you get that discipline and that will combined with the genetics, you're unstoppable. And so the genetics, that's a factor. There's also things that you can do to hide it, you know, your lack of symmetry and balance. Um, and then the proportion part would be <clears throat> if you're proportioned, if both arms are proportioned, you know, the ratio of like uh, maybe the shoulder to waist or the quads, you know, to the hamstrings, because sometimes... Most people are, are quad dominant. So that's proportions. So you see the difference between symmetry and proportions? Yeah. Symmetry is the structure. Proportions is how you put the muscle on. Like mm -hmm. Some guys could be huge freaking chest and their shoulders are small. That's not proportion. Or shoulders are huge um, and the chest is small. Or arms are huge and the chest and the shoulders are small. You know, or they have a high lats and uh, their waist looks longer because their lat sweep doesn't go all the way down. So there's a lot to the proportion part of it, you know, to have it balanced. So you can't train too much of a certain part that is going to overpower uh, other parts and it will make you not proportionate. Your quads, like Sean Roden, for years I've known Sean, and he just couldn't you know of course phil heath was an amazing athlete so he wasn't going to beat phil until he had his 